Hey guys, it's Coach Marty. I'm gonna go over uh, our test set that we're gonna be going or start implementing every two weeks. Just to kind of track the progress of how everybody's doing. We can definitely see how you're doing as far as keeping track of your weights and keeping track of your reps. We're just gonna put a test out there at the end of every two weeks. We're gonna ask you to try and just go through it some point in time and then we'll be able to track that too. Plus this kind of stuff will go up onto our leaderboards and stuff like that. You'll be able to track what your teammates are doing um, and seeing where they're at along with that test. So we're gonna have three different tests, all right? A lower body test, an upper body test, and then a cardio test. So the first exercise is our skater squat. We've been doing that a lot in the workout and that's basically why we're gonna try and test it to see how we're progressing as we go along. With that skater squat, what we're looking for, taking our knee completely to the ground and then standing back up with a one second down, one second up pace. So I'm gonna demonstrate here. Gonna take the knee down, touch the ground, and fire right back up. I'm gonna demonstrate this way as well. Lift that leg up, touch the knee down, fire right back up. All right, about a one second down, one second up. I'm not pausing at the bottom, and I'm not pausing at the top. If you can do that, great. You're gonna put the one, and again, I'll go over this too on Team Builder. Um, we'll switch over to the computer mode after this. But you're gonna put, you're gonna mark down that you did one rep on the right leg, and that you completed that, all right? The next would be trying to do three of those. Three, one down, one up on the right leg, and three on the left leg. If you can't complete three, and you've already completed one, we're just gonna be stuck in that phase until you can get three on the right and then three on the left. If you've only done two on the right side, mark down two, all right? As soon as you get three, put down three, and then you can move on. The last one is gonna be five reps on the right leg, five reps on the left leg, and again, that's all under a one second down, one second up, no pausing at the top, no pausing at the bottom. If you happen to pause, you're done, all right? Or, if you're resting on the ground, right, and then having to use that momentum to get up, that doesn't count as well. So don't count those. Second exercise, push-ups. Need something about four inches or less, all right? That's probably about the same size as a fist, all right? This is a little bit less, this is about three inches. I'm just gonna use it if you have a yoga block. Again, stack a couple books, make your fist, all right? Put some books on the ground, make sure they're at no higher than your, or no lower than the, whatever you want, higher or lower, but no higher than your fist, it can be lower. I'm gonna set this break down. The goal is to touch your chest to the block or the book or whatever you have every time. Same exact rep tempo, one second down, one second up. I'm gonna demonstrate that now. Hands are over the top of the shoulders, my core is tucked under, my body moves together, okay? We're not taking our chest and just touching, keeping our butt up in the air. Everything moves together. My shoulders, my chest, touches. One, two, one, two, one, two. At that pace. As soon as your chest doesn't touch the brick or doesn't touch the object that you're touching your chest to, as soon as your hips start to drop, as soon as you lose tempo of a one-to-one, -one, you're done. Record your number, that's it, and then we'll wait for the next two weeks and we'll record it the next time, all right? After that, you have either a mile run, a two-mile bike ride, or a 15-meter uh, row on an erg machine or on a rower if you have one at home. Everybody can probably do one of those three. So only choose one of those and stick to that, all right? So if you decide to run, you're gonna run every week. If you decide to bike, you're gonna bike every week. If you decide to row, you're gonna row every week. Just so we can see if we're progressing as we go through. If you're running or you're biking, grab your phone, grab a smartwatch if you have one, all right? So you can track it and just make sure you're using the same thing every time you track. All right, and make sure you're running on the same course every time. Make sure you're biking on the same course every time. So that way you get the best results each time. If you're on a rowing machine, just type in the 1500 meters, row that 1500 meters and record your time. 
Now we're gonna switch over to our computer mode and we're gonna, I'm gonna go through this on Team Builder and how you can record it on Team Builder. All right guys, so now we're at our screen view. So, or a computer view. Here's the, what it's gonna look like on Team Builder. You have your skater squad test. If you notice here, it says one by one. All right, so that's your test if you're gonna try and complete one full rep on each leg. I'm gonna click in here, all right. So let's say you complete one rep, great. You're gonna hit the one rep, and then you're gonna hit your save button. All right, that means next time you would move on, all right, or you could try the three reps, all right. Same thing, you say if you only get two reps, you're gonna only type in two reps. And again, both sides have to be complete. The tempo up here is a one second down, zero second pause, one second down, zero second pause. Hit the save button, done, all right. And then you're gonna eventually work your way up to five reps on each leg, one second down, one second up, knee touches the ground each time. So that's how you record those. For our push-up test, AMAP means as many reps as possible. Okay, so you're gonna, again, as the instructions say, nothing more than a four inch object. All right, one second down, one second up, no pause in the top, no pause in the bottom. As soon as you pause or as soon as you lose your form, you are done. All right, say we get 20 reps. All right, hit the save button, move on. This is where we go into our one mile run two mile bike test or our 1500 meter row. Here, let's say it takes you 10 minutes. All right, and 15 seconds. You're gonna save that. All right, hit the save button. Every time you retest, it'll come back up. All your old times or all your old numbers are gonna be up there, so you can view those. If you have any questions about this test, let us know, enjoy. And again, for all those people at home, when you're on Team Builder, all the leaderboard, it'll have most of uh, our running exercises will pop up here. And we'll also try and keep the skater squat test and the push up test up here as well. All right. Enjoy the test. If you have any questions, again, always feel free to message us through Team Builder or send us an email through info at functionandstrength.com. Thanks, guys.